Welcome back guys. Now this is gonna be a little bit different video. Um, I subscribe to the Monster Bass subscription box. Now, I paid $25 for this box. I had a $10 off uh, coupon for it. It's normally 35 bucks. But what they do is they go off what region you're in, what lures and baits they think, you know, you should throw in your region. Now, I subscribed to this box last year for a month because it was, I think uh, there was another coupon on it. So I tried it out. I really liked the baits that they gave me. It was a bunch of baits that I used. Now, um, it, it took a little while to get here due to the Corona stuff going on, but let's get this box opened up. Now, I'm not too sure what's gonna be in here. So some baits might be a little different from what I like to use, but so far, a 25% off all store purchases from their store. So that's pretty cool for, uh, for I guess, well, anything in the store, uh, not just apparel. And the first thing, let's see here, they got some good stuff in here. Um, I like what I see so far. Um, I got a War Eagle 3 8 ounce spinnerbait. Now, this, is, this one's a, uh, in the mouse color. Um, pretty good looking spinner bait. Um, I actually threw a spinner bait this weekend and caught some fish on it. I threw the Santone um, spinner baits this weekend and caught some fish on them in, uh, in Dunlap and here in Seguin on the river. So let's see what's next. Got a uh, fat free family bomber crankbait. This one says it dives down anywhere uh, four to six foot. So I like that crawl pattern. It's a nice pattern uh, right around March here on the river. Works really well. So I'm gonna like that. Now, this is pretty cool. It's a monster bass, I guess, makes their own baits. And it's a uh, top water. And I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but it's a four and three quarter inch top water, three, uh, three quarter ounce. And it's a pretty cool a little paint job on it. Um, I don't know about the color scheme, but I mean, it's it's got a good sound to it. It's almost like a like a one knocker type thing. Let me get get it open. So pretty good, pretty cool looking bait. It's even got the uh, three treble hooks, a red treble hook on the front. Pretty good sounding bait even got a pretty cool paint job so yeah i'm gonna like that i'm gonna try it out see if uh see if i can catch some fish on it now what's here got the ned ochos now a friend of mine robert rodriguez he also has another youtube channel i'll link his um link in the comments in the description below but he loves to throw this the original ocho by strike king now, uh, I Ned rigged a little bit. I've caught small, really small fish on them, but I keep hearing that people catch really good sized fish on, on a Ned rig. So definitely gonna try that. I like that color, that darker color for around here whenever the water gets stirred up. Now, let's see here. Got some B&M Bass and Bait. Super scented high tail shad in the white ice now i i might actually use this one down at the coast i I'm, i don't know if y'all are very familiar with the uh saltwater bait called the down south lures it's uh very similar but this is has an this one has an inverted paddle tail see the the tail's facing up now um it's also in the same color white ice that i throw I throw that uh, in the down south color. So let me open that up see what they look like. They look pretty cool. I don't know how, how they feel, but yeah, it's a pretty cool looking bait, real thick paddle, ought to have a lot of action. So I'm for sure gonna try these. I like these a bunch, pretty neat. I guess you could rig them belly up, but that's how I rig a paddle tail with the flat part, the hook uh comes out the top so now see as you can see it's got a inverted tail versus the other 
you know, paddle tails. It's uh, got the tail, the paddle down. Now it's, it's got a lot of, a lot of uh, action in it too. So can't wait to try this. Actually, probably would be really good for a chatterbait trailer, or even like a swim jig. But I'm for sure gonna try these at the coast. I ought to tear up some redfish with these things. Um, let's see what what else we got in here. We also got a uh, sample of uh, EWG worm hooks. Uh, it's got three, a two aught, a three aught, and a four aught. So these are sandbar tackle out of Corpus. So um, can't wait to try them or use them. Can't always, you know, can't have enough hooks. Um, got a Castec. Castic, uh, the original swim bait company, solid leg frog. Pretty cool looking frog. I was, it's, a, it's got like a popper on the front. Let me open that. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a popper frog with, with legs on it. That's a pretty neat looking bait. So I've never used any of these type of frogs before. Can't wait to try that. Um, hollow body, nice popper. Looks pretty cool. Can't wait to use that. And I love I love the black frogs. They they seem to get hit quite a bit around here, as long as, as well as uh, the white ones. So uh, black and white, some of my favorite frogs to use. Now let's see. We got one more left. Um, got the Mismo Bait Company. Uh, never heard of this bait company before. Um, I don't even know what this is really. Uh, it's like a little. I don't. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it's a strange looking bait, but it's got a lot of a uh, lot of action in the tail. You know, it's just a ball ballpoint tail. But I don't know how you would rig this. But um, probably go on the back of a trailer, or use it as a trailer or something for a chatterbait or even like a, a spinnerbait or something like that. But pretty pretty neat looking bait. I'm gonna have to do some more research on this bait. Probably even on this company. I've never heard it before. There ain't, there ain't much on the bag. So I'm gonna definitely do some research on this one. But also got a, got a sticker and it comes with like some tips. Tips on what to, you know, what to throw you know, what color water, what's spawning at that time, what's pre-spawn, post-spawn from the spring to the summertime and fall and, and into the winter. So it's a pretty neat box. So uh, I don't know if y'all are interested in any of uh, these boxes, but you can get them at monsterbass.com. Um, I actually had the, the coupon for $10 off. And I also did some research on, on YouTube as well. So on here, so um also they have some boxes that come out like they have a jason a jason christie box you know stuff you know his go-to five or six go-to baits he likes to use so i'm gonna i'm gonna try it out definitely uh definitely gonna go and try these baits out um for sure the plopper um the paddle tails um definitely the war eagle uh spinner bait it's probably my favorite lure in the box but it's kind of interesting to try out this top water might have to try it down at the coast for some redfish man i think they would tear this up but i'd probably change the hooks out keep the bucktail keep the bucktail on there change the hooks out upgrade the hooks but uh it's got a pretty loud loud knocker in it uh, so definitely gonna try this down at the coast. So, um, and of course the Ocho's, gonna try them. Add this to the collection of crankbaits that I have. I got a bunch of them, use them quite a bit down in Fayette and here on the river. So um, definitely gonna try that. These, I'm not too sure about. They might end up in the spare, um, artificial box so but i'm gonna do some research on it and uh if i like what i see i'm gonna try them and i'll give y'all a review on these as well so but yeah guys uh that's about it in the box um um 
hope hope y'all uh this can help if help y'all out if y'all want to go and purchase one of these boxes um i know they're a little pricey for a 35 dollars maybe you can just go and buy your own baits that you want but you know to try out new baits or you know maybe a new company is out that you want to try so maybe it'll help help one of y'all but yeah guys um i really appreciate y'all watching um don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned because there will be a rod and reel review that are just in the mail a little behind from the coronavirus made shipping delayed for like two weeks so but yeah guys thank y'all for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe